Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Adam, this is Friday Sews, here we go for this week. So, this week I have not had much time to sew. I've got a few things done. Um, I finished off my Sew Up Cycle 22 challenge, which I finished it probably towards the end of last week actually, when I filmed my last Friday Sews. Um, it was one of the things that I cracked on with and got done. Um, so, as some of you may have seen, I took my denim jacket, I used some heat and bond light, and I cut out all of my different parts of the Tudor prints, um, and I did a satin stitch, applique stitch around the edge of them all, and just put all the different characters on, and I'm super happy with it. Um, I used a thread on the inside that matches the colour of the inside of the jacket so even though I couldn't separate the Sherpa lining from the outer it doesn't feel any different when you're wearing it and it looks really pretty so I'm really happy with how that turned out um I managed to get the wardrobe by me over shirt printed out and I cut out one and I finished it and I am wearing it so I will insert a picture of me wearing it here because it's quite dark in this room you can't really see it it is a really beautiful um, brushed cotton flannel fabric in purple and navy. You can probably see it more here. Um, this is from First of Fabrics. They have got some left. Um, you better be quick and get on there and order some if you want some because I think I might go on there and order pretty much whatever they've got left because it is the nicest fabric in the world. Um, I made it with some buttons that I got from a really lovely lady on Etsy. Um, these I have been saving for a little while. Apologies, we are looking after my mum's dog and Dobby seems to like to attack, well not attack, try to play with her every time you walk out the room. Um, I am, where was I, chain of thought, come on Adam, think about it, buttons. These are made from a lady on Etsy. I don't know if I can get a clear image of them on here. So they are a clear resin button and these ones have actually got toadstools, playing cards and different things all in them. They've basically got all of the characters out of Alice in Wonderland. Um, so they're a clear button, but they've got all of these different things merged into them. They're just amazing. I don't know how she gets all of these tiny, tiny, weeny little trinkets in there. But they're gorgeous. I will link her, chat, uh, her shop, her Etsy store below. I went on there yesterday and she's uploaded even new well even nicer if it's possible um designs and i ordered some because i am running low on buttons i have got a whole tin of buttons but none of them seem to match and i always end up making things that have got like 15 different buttons on them and it just looks a bit weird sometimes bear me two seconds i have someone that's trying to climb up onto my jacket um so basically this shirt that i'm wearing which is a wardrobe for me over shirt um i made it in a size small which based on the chest measurements was my measurement but it said that it had six and a half inches of ease in it which i thought that's quite a lot of ease so i thought i'll make the small for darren my husband because i thought with that amount of ease in it it will definitely fit him because he was actually coming up more as a medium on the size chart based on the um chest measurement and stuff like that but I thought if it's got six and a half inches of ease in it he's gonna be, be fun well it wasn't it was way too small um so this fabric that I'm actually wearing was supposed to be the shirt the fabric that I was going to make his over shirt out of and the one that I was going to make mine out of is this fabric here which is a pale brushed cotton which is like the pastel colours um which I've already got cut out in a large believe it or not Darren is never a large um which I'm going to make today, hopefully. Once I've interfaced everything, I can start cracking on with that. So, we've had to swap brush cottons, which is not a big deal, really, because I actually really like this one now I've made it up. Um, but I am going to have to order some more because I want a pale, a paler colour as well. But I think I'm going to go for the black and white check one. So I will put an order through for that today, probably. Um, I have got a really cool collab coming up this month which i'm really excited about which i'm not going to let you in on because it will be a secret um but i am doing it with a couple of different people if not more um and i'm really looking forward to that 
the other thing that I did this week was I got a package from Marie, from Marie Strapper Creations. She said that she was sending me something, but she wouldn't let on what it was. And she said that when it comes, I will know it's from her. And I thought, well, it's going to be something that we've spoke about or it's going to be something that we've had a laugh about. And part of me did think that she was going to send me a Lazy Susan, which is kind of inside joke on one of her lives. Um, when someone actually asked how big her Lazy Susan was and um, YouTube thought that they were being rude and held the comment for it, um, which was quite entertaining. Um, but I had the parcel turn up. She actually messaged me and said she hadn't had any tracking information and couldn't work out where the parcel was. And she'd ordered it quite a while ago. But because Royal Mail in the UK have decided that they don't want to work because they're striking... Um, which is a whole other ball game, which I'm not going to get into because it's driving me absolutely mad now because it's taking weeks for anything to get here and stuff that you send first class 24 hour, whatever, which should normally be here the next day or the following day is turning up like two weeks later, which is just ridiculous. Um, but the parcel eventually turned up. It actually turned up on the day that she messaged me and said, I can't find any tracking information for it. And the parcel was... A kilo of Swedish fish, <laughs> which we were talking about how much I like them and I can never get them in the UK. And a kilo of Sour Patch Kids, which are American Sour Patch Kids, not the knockoff version that come in exactly the same packaging, but are made by Maynards in the UK, which don't taste a single thing like Sour Patch Kids. So thank you, Marie. I've already started um, devouring the Swedish fish. Um, and I am sharing them. I will let you know. I have let Darren have at least three or four. <laughs> um, so that's it for me this week, really. I haven't really... Oh, one second. Just looking over the other side of the room. I have actually been up to something else this week. Not a huge amount, but I did cut and glue based loads and loads and loads of hexes, which were delivered after my Friday episodes last week. The pattern... Uh, the paper pieces and the fussy cut template came last week, which were from Lena Patchwork, which are these ones here. Um, so they're a classic hexagon and they're one inch. Um, so I made up a load of those and I've started in the evenings making my hexy English paper piece flowers, which are all hand stitched together on the back. And I'm not blowing my own trumpet or anything, but... Some of this hand stitching is like literally invisible, which I'm pretty happy about. I've been using a combination of two different weights of thread. So I've been using a 40 weight thread in like a mint colour, uh, which is this colour, uh, which is the Aurifil 2835, which is the colour that Chula actually says that she uses as a neutral because the majority of her fabrics actually have it in sort of around they all have that sort of tone in them somewhere um and the other thing i've been using as well is the little wooden spools of 80 weight thread um which is like literally like the finest almost hair like thread um and you can barely see the stitches in between there's a few that you can pick out but there's not that many um so i'm really happy with how they're turning out and obviously once they all go together they will make a ginormous quilt eventually in her 70 years time. Um, so I have been working on those. I also, one of my friends, Tracy, messaged me and she said, is there any chance that you would want some Tula books? And I was like, well, do bears poop in the woods? Um, and she had all three of Tula's books that were completely brand new. Um, and she basically said, did I want them? Um, she only wanted a very, very, very good amount of money for them, shall we say. Um, and the stuff that is in them is just beautiful. The Hunter Bodden Quilt Blocks one, actually, which was the one that I was kind of like a bit sort of like, eh, well, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. This one is actually probably my favourite, which is funny. Um, they basically, so every single one of the blocks that are in here, um, Tudor has actually hand drawn... A replica of it on a breakdown let me see if i can find one like here so she shows the actual block 
and then she does a hand drawn version of it where she actually hand draws all of the fabrics that are used in the block i mean obviously she's obviously she's hand drawn them because she drew them originally in the first place to actually create the fabrics but there's like little sketches as well in here of the different things that are in some of her prints like this here is the seahorse from um one of her fairly early fabrics that she's done with free spirit um which i actually have got some of obviously because i don't know when to stop when it comes to tuna um, so that is it really for this week. I'm going to stop rabbiting on now because I'm just going on about nonsense and I will see you all soon. Um, don't forget to check out the hashtag gift to November vloggers. They are, the vlogging store started this week. My channel, uh, sorry, my video for it went out this week and my co-host, Alison, hers went out this week as well for our launch videos. We had the French Seams, she released her video on, um, the third and today is Tamlin from Sewing on the Tyne and I will link all of those below in the description box and please go and check them out there's some great ideas of what people are thinking of doing for Gift of November and I will see you all soon ciao